So this is the first video I'm going to be posting, kind of journal style, because you know me, I'm kind of not really into, you know, posting vlogs. <laughs> I don't really care for my face. But um, I have a good reason this time to want to uh, jump on camera. Um, I just started reading this really, really interesting book called Virtual Psychology. It's by Boris Krieger, and um, you can... I'll put the link in the website, or in the description, I mean. I'm really bad on camera. But it's all about psychology and how it pertains to the virtual world, which, as you people should know, anybody who watches my videos, anybody who knows me in person knows I'm huge into psychology. So, as it's my passion, and one of the things I spend most of my time reading and writing about, um, I found it really intriguing that it seems to be an angle I haven't explored yet myself. Like, I just didn't even think to look at psychology as it pertains to the internet and our modern way of being. So, um, I'm really looking forward to getting into that book. Uh, I haven't really started it because I haven't had time recently. But um, it's kind of, a, kind of, like, worth putting time aside for um so i'm probably gonna start that soon and uh i'm gonna say keep you updated because i think that if there are highlights i'm probably going to want to share them and not just tell you oh go watch this or go read this because that's not really my style i want to share with you what i found the most intriguing about the book um i can't do that right now because i did just start um, reading it. Um, it's not his only psychology book either. He has uh, quite a few up on his website. Uh, they cover different things, but all basically about human psychology, which is probably something I think that everybody should read about or study a little bit of because common sense isn't that common anymore and maybe it needs to be taught. And along with being taught, Maybe it needs to be studied because I don't think we quite get it. So, like, psychology to me is an ongoing study of the brain. Um, why people do the things that they do. What influences that. And right now, obviously, the internet is a huge influence. It's where most of us spend our time. You wake up, you check your social media, you go to bed, you're still checking your social media. And what kind of damage or long-term effect does that end up having on our psychology? On how we feel about ourselves, about the world? I have seen so many people get caught up in like social media things feeling bad that they don't have the lives they see on Instagram, for example, which is a horrible mindset because, I mean, life's not all what you see on the internet. There's a lot of fake crap on the internet and there's a lot of really uh, awful people who like to try and trick other people into thinking things that aren't true. This is why psychology is such an important field of study because it takes a look, as you know, at that exact thing. And this book takes a look at that from a different viewpoint. From a viewpoint that, again, I haven't really, not a lot of people have covered. It, it seems to be a niche and people are missing on the mark. So it's really, really, really awesome that Boris has taken psychology into that, into that place. Um, or at least my introduction of uh, virtual psychology, as the book is called, um, as I've never thought of it before. So Boris is my gateway into this, um, into this study of how the brain is affected by our virtual lives, essentially who we are online, who we are offline. You know, the personalities we curate, the content we curate. And it's always about curating content, especially if you're an individual like myself. Selling um, anything, you really have to 
have that social media presence. She's always been my biggest problem. I think we all know that. Uh, I'm not really good at marketing, especially myself. Um, so I don't have social media followers. I don't curate good content. I'm working on it. Step one is trying to get comfortable on camera. So that's another reason I decided to record this video. So I could feel like I was, you know, working towards that goal, ultimately. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, because I think I've been on camera just a little too long for my comfort. But I'll try again in the near future. And until then, I'll see you when I see you.